Hi everyone, in this video we're going to look at prototyping our little mobile uh, website and you all these little wires here when they are all connected up like they are. Okay, I can go through and say learn more, go back to the home page, go to the cart page. Okay, adding a little bit of navigation uh, to kind of prototype our design is what we're going to do. Let's jump in. Okay, to add the interaction, we're going to switch from design, which we've been up in the moment, to prototype. Nothing really looks like it changes except for this little panel changes a little bit. Okay, now to activate everything, click on the name of one of the artboards. Let's do the first page, the home page. And what we're going to do is when this page is clicked, we're going to get it to go to this artboard here. And you just click, hold, and drag that little blue thing. And so you can kind of see it says this one okay and then we're going to give it a preview so let's preview it up here hitting the little play button okay and click it and your app will load up cool okay and what we do is at the moment just click anywhere and it's going to move to the next upboard there to there simple click again and it goes nowhere because we've only kind of rigged up one artboard so what we can do is you don't actually have to close this down Okay, this can stay open. For me, I often keep it on my other screen over here that you can't see. Okay, or we can just keep it here in this instance, and it just hovers above everything. You can close it down again and open it back up, no problem. Okay, but um, yeah, that's that. And the other thing to note is that it might be starting on the wrong page. You might be like, that's not the home page. It doesn't assume that you want to start on the far left, because you can have one over here. And it doesn't really know which one to start with. Okay, so what you do is to initiate it, you like if I want to start at the checkout page to preview this. Okay, just have the page selected or the artboard selected. Okay, and you can leave this open. You don't have to kind of like reset it. You can just click over here. Can you see? Oh. <laughs> you see this adjust depending on the artboard you have selected. So this thing doesn't need to be closed. So what we're going to do on the product details page is we're going to say you go there. And then on the checkout page, you are going to go there. So a real basic rig. Okay, and to start back at the beginning, I'm going to click on this home page and say click, click, click. Look at us. Fancy, fancy-ish. <laughs> uh, but at the moment though, that's using the entire thing, okay? Clicking anywhere. What we wanna do is have these buttons to go to places. So what we'll do is we'll close this down so it's not confusing, is to get rid of these. There's a couple of ways you can, like the way I do it anyway, is click on homepage. To remove this connection is you just click, hold and drag it to nowhere, not there, just kind of round here. You can go back at home, just kind of anywhere over here, let go, and it kind of breaks that link. Okay, so that's the way, one way of doing it. The kind of more official way is I've got checkout selected and over here it's added a tap trigger. By dragging this little thing across, it is assuming a few things that you're gonna click somewhere or a tap. Um, on a phone obviously is a tap, uh, it's a click on a um, desktop and it's gonna add a transition to the confirmation page. Okay, and it's gonna use the default for dissolve. You can say go nowhere. You can see just goes nowhere now, there you go. So we've broken all that down because what we want to do is work on actual objects. So what we want to do is instead of clicking on the whole page to get to the um, product details page is going to be my learn more button. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to have the uh, text selected, let's zoom in. Uh, let's have the button selected just so there's a bit more of a clickable area and then you can drag it here. Cool, huh? All right, so marketing homepage, let's click play. And so no, nothing's clickable except for this guy. Hey, that's the basics of prototyping. Now what we might do is I want to go back to that home page. Okay, I'm going to go you, my friend, go back here. There you go. We're accepting all the defaults. We'll talk about easing and stuff in a future video, but for the moment, this is kind of what you end up doing. Home page, learn more. Home page, just kind of rigging this thing up with all your, these are called wires, okay, and they connect to different pages. Another thing you can do in that preview is instead of like trying to wire it all up just for your own navigation, you can use left and right arrows just to kind of move through them. If you just want to see what the checkout page looks like and you don't want to use all the kind of interactions, you can just use left and right and it'll just kind of cycle through them all. The other really neat thing about this is, because it's always open, um, watch this, the design can actually change. You see you can prototype it, be working on this and being seeing what it looks like on this design without having to kind of close it and restart it or refresh it. So there's no real refresh button other than, it's. I wish there was a kind of a go back to home page, <laughs> okay? But there's not, okay? Uh, so you click on this to kind of get back to the beginning. We'll use those arrow keys. So while I'm working is I'll always have this screen open and I'll just have it over here on my other monitor, okay? And be working, working, working and it just kind of shows me what it looks like over there all the time. One last little tip for prototyping is we did the home page. where did we do it? And um, well, 
two little tips now that I think of it. Okay, I'm gonna select all. So Command A on a Mac, Control A on a PC. It's under, where is it? Select all. If you're in prototype mode, it'll select all and show you all the wires, which can be handy just to know what you have and haven't done. You'll be like, okay, I've done that home one, but you can see this one hasn't connected up. So that happens a lot with navigation. Okay, uh, let's say that we don't have an accounts page, so we don't, I'm not gonna use this one. It's not part of our task flow. Um, but this one here does. So we're gonna say, okay, you go to the checkout page, okay. Now, I don't wanna have to go, you could just go you, go to home page, and that's fine with only four artboards, okay? But what you can do is, only if you're in prototype mode, okay? If you select all of these four and copy them, and we, we learned this trick earlier, right? And we delete these, click on the title, and paste them. Okay, you can see it brings back the links. It doesn't bring back this one because we're already on the home page, but if I go to this one, go you, delete those guys, paste them, Okay, huh, didn't bring out, didn't, oh, this one didn't pay because we're on the checkout page. <laughs> it doesn't, obviously can't show the wire going to itself, but the homepage one works. This one's gonna show me loads. This is a bit more, uh, get what I mean. See, the homepage and the cart page is there. So if you are kind of doing lots of repetitive stuff, make sure you're copying, pasting, and prototype. The reason I show you that is, let's do it the other way. So um, that one doesn't have it, right? So if I do it in design view, and I go over here and go, and where is one? This one here, go copy. Okay, it won't bring through all of those wires. If I go here, delete, hmm, delete, paste. And if I go to prototype mode, can you see it didn't copy and paste these wires? Okay, so you have to be in prototype mode to be copying and pasting wires. You'll get caught out eventually and wonder why, you know, all the interactions not coming through. You just gotta be in prototype mode when you're copying and pasting. And in this case, we are mocking up a mobile phone. It doesn't matter whether you're mocking up a mobile phone or a website design or a tablet design, this little thing pops up just the same. Okay, and we're just sticking to mobile now because it's, uh, it's becoming the most popular for lots of, especially kind of this e-commerce stuff. So I end up starting a lot more in mobile, but but that's not to say a desktop version or a kind of a, a rectangular horizontal version isn't where you should be starting and prototyping the, the, you know, the tips and tricks we're learning here all work the same. All right, that is it. Let's get on to the next video. Hi there, my name is Dan Scott. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and if you wanna go further with Adobe XD, there is, I have a full course, there'll be a link in the description, it's called Adobe XD Essentials. There'll be a card up here you can click as well. Uh, but yeah, carry on with your day, enjoy, and I might see you in the full course.